we play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and I am continuing with Ease 8 Lacrimosa of Adana. We're getting ever closer to the end of it, and I'm feeling pretty darn good about it. I'm super stoked and excited to hop in and check out Ease 9 Monstrums, Monstrum Nox. I don't know what that's going to bring to the table, but I'm pretty excited. The only thing I'm a little concerned about is I imagine the control scheme is probably going to not be what I'm used to. So that's probably going to be a pretty big struggle because I know I modified and made this work for how I want to play and how I do things. So I assume I'm going to have that same, you know, it's not going to be exactly what I want when I first start off. There we go. Took care of this guy. He is down. He is out. We are feeling mighty good with ourselves. We got another big boy here. And we'll do that. All right, I went in a little bit early. I am pretty certain that I dodged that, but whatever. That's cool. Maybe I was mid attack or something and didn't want to start the dodge. It happens. The Dota J sometimes does not work the way you intend. But I'm pretty excited and eager to see how this oh, see how all this plays out at the end. I can't wait to see the the end game results here. Why is Rakota so hurt? I feel like the answer is no. No, she's not okay. All right, hold on. Before before we fully commit to this. There was a little side room here that we could definitely go into. And I absolutely want to do that. Oh. Okay, that hurt. That hurt. That was, that was kind of nasty. I know he's about to jump on me again. Yeah, but I was prepared this time. You're lucky I'm not whipping Donna out. Okay, okay, my bad, my bad, yo. Alright, let's end this guy. Alright, he is knocked down, he is stunned, and he is done. Ladies and a gentle mon. Mon? Mon? Men? The Hermit's Remedy is here. We're feeling. Wait, there's another one on the other side. Uh -huh. I don't like these guys, they're hard to deal with. They take way too much effort to defeat. I was really hoping that I could... Really hoping that I could actually just, like, sustain through. Alright. We'll just share the load, I suppose, a little bit. All right, down he goes, and victory is ours. Ugh. Even with all our upgraded weapons and everything else, it's all good. All right, so I know that we ran this on hard, and I find that, for the most part, sure, we've had some struggle points. I've definitely had to restart a few times, which I didn't particularly enjoy that I sucked so bad that I had to do that. But, by and large, most of the game has been relatively simplistic and easy as far as things go. So, for me, and I could be completely wrong here, I think if, and I'm sure there's going to be, if there's a difficulty setting on, on uh, Ease 9, I'm probably going to go with Hard again, or if there's like a Harder Than Hard difficulty, I might go that route. Because, I again, I feel like this was okay, but... Short of a few select things and really basically me just being bad, um, this has been pretty easy and I'd like a little bit more of a challenge if possible. And no, I'm not like, I'm the greatest thing to ever live and exist in the human world. <laughs> I, I definitely don't feel that. But, again, I would very much like to, I don't know. Get a little, uh, get a little bit more challenge out of it. So hard difficulty or harder is the plan. I, I'm always tentative to do that in a new game, so we'll, we'll see. 
But I'm stoked, guys and gals. I have it installed. Now, here's another thing. They, they may have... Um, they may have, like, save files for previous games, and you get, like, special items. I, I know that's a thing that can, can be done, and some companies do that. Um, I, all the rest of the Ease games that I have are all on PC. This will be the only one I have on the PlayStation 4. So if there are any bonus items, we'll be able to get that, and so on and so forth. So we'll see. Anyway, what is this place? It's really spacious. I hope we're not going up against Oceanus immediately. From the look of it, this might be the bottom of the chasm. Really? But we didn't see the Oceanus' nest as we made our way. Wait! Um, what? What is it, little lady? Something funny about all this debris? Look at this! The Lombardia? Oh. It's our ship? Writing? What does it say? You should know. You can read. Lombardia? Oh, the Lombardia's black. Hmm. This is attached to the ship's hull. It must have wound up here after Oceanus pulled it under, or Oceanus, as I like to call it. Then the creature must be nearby. Is that how all this debris got here? Man, Captain Bar Barbaros loved the ship, and that thing tore it to pieces. Yes. We'll avenge the Lombardia, and then we'll all escape this island together. <laughs> All right. That's a spirit. Yeah, we're gonna do this. All that aside, when will the Oceanus return here? We'll go with it. If it's not here, it must be roaming the sea somewhere. It's very likely, and we have no way of knowing when it might return. And even with this essence equipment, being underwater too long is still exhausting. What should we do? Uh, let's wait a little longer. I think we've learned enough about its nest. We should resurface instead of waiting here. Yes, there might be new information back at the village. We can always warp back here. Well, that's fair. I felt like going that route, but... <sighs> Look at all. What that? Is that the o Okeanus? Or something different entirely. Is that the Oceanus? Dang monster swimming without a care in the world. We can't defeat it unless it returns to its nest. What should we do? Hey, Adol! It's Dogie. What's up, Dogs? Dogie, fodder. We came to check on your progress. Any new developments? Adol informed them that they found Okeanus' nest. Found the nest already. Oh, that's good to hear. So we got here just in time, Thanatos. Mm -hmm. Indeed. What are you talking about? Actually, Dogi and I have been warping around the northern region. We found some documents in the capital with more information about the Okeanus. They explain how people used to hunt it back in the day. Huh? Really? How did you find that information? <laughs> Explorer's intuition. Hmm. So, how do we hunt it? It's actually not that difficult. Trapping it in its own nest was actually a good idea. The Okeanus has more of an advantage in open waters. However, the Eternians would split into two teams to hunt them. Two teams? That's right, the first team would drive the Okeanus back into its nest, and the second team would wait for it at its nest and finish it off. Oh, that's similar to a fishing technique I've used before. That's a sound strategy, but if we split into two teams, we don't have enough people. You're right. Driving the Okeanus back into its nest would take a lot of people. Hey, aren't you guys forgetting something? Huh? Just hear us out. We'd like you to be the team that waits for the Okeanus at its nest. And the team responsible for driving it back to its nest. Well, you're looking at them. 
Uh, you mean the two of you? <laughs> that would be an impossible task for Dogie and I alone. Which is why everyone at Castaway Village will help us drive back the Okeanos. That sounds super dangerous. You're saying everyone in the village is going to head to the northern region? Now that we can warp, it's possible to relocate everyone. Are you sure that's wise? Well, what about the village? If it gets attacked while everyone is away and our ship gets destroyed... Actually, it looks like the beasts near the village have settled down. So we can devote our experience with raids and hunts to taking down Okeanos. Fight against Okeanos is a watershed moment for us castaways. So please, let us help you this one time. What do you say? I'm counting on you. That's what I'd like to hear. Okay, time to strike when the, while the iron is hot. We better start preparing. I mean, maybe. Preparations to hunt the Okeanos began. Warping themselves in their weaponry, the castaways stationed themselves at the chasm. Spirits are high as the castaways readied themselves to face the Okeanos, the beast that sunk the Lombardia. Okay. The fateful hour approaches. Alright, everything's ready to go. All we gotta do is get things started. I don't need... I know I don't need to remind you, but double check your equipment for me anyway, Adol. Once you're all set, let me know. Make sure to talk to everyone before we start. Is this like the end of the game? Right, well, we're still in chapter 5. Which is, like, absurdly long, by the way. I guess chapter 2 is really long, too. Yeah. It is what it is, I suppose. Alright. Uh. We probably have some quests to do still. No quest available? Well, I was wrong. Talk to you. Uh, just you wait, Okeanos. I'll show you the strength of Castaway Village and my own. <laughs> I'm getting so pumped. All right, calm down. Take your time. Calm down. It's fine. <laughs> Go ahead, and grab that. Go ahead and grab this. Oh, done already? Yep. What's up, man? Can I show you the map? Yeah, I don't think I did anything. See. I didn't do much, did I? No. Nope. Didn't do much. Yeah, I know. I'm almost done moving the raid gear into place. Heh, <laughs> the party's about to start. Come on, Adol. Let's do this so we can take that tentacle thing down a peg or 20. Yeah, if you say so. Alright, let's go talk to our girl. Oh. What's going on, man? Saha, what's up? Well, I wasn't expecting everyone to have to fight. We sure do got a lot on our plates. Makes me a little twitchy, really. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. If you're strong enough to wield a weapon that size, you're strong enough. Now you just need to be man enough to use that strength to see this through to the end. Yes, ma'am. You're even tougher than Laxia. That's true. She is. Hey, girl. What should I upgrade? Uh. This. Leave it to me. All right, finished. Any more thunder claws, huh? I need to be able to upgrade that. Like, there's a lot of upgrading that still needs to happen. Leave it to me. Whew, it's complete. Okay, we don't have enough blue feathers. At least he's done. I'll get started. We'll reforge this. All right, finished. The Rakshasa clubs. Okay, creepy. We need more essence it? stones. Ugh. Oh, we got a, a chat with him. Hey, can we go somewhere else to talk? Sure. What's up, buddy? This view, this view is magnificent. When I first came to this village, I thought 
It had very little, but it's surrounded by such beautiful nature and full of warmth and friendship. True, this land has many threats, but in her own way, she is very rich. <laughs> uh, I agree. Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought as much at all. You look like the sort of man who has always known that. I have always thought I was special. Because I am a noble, you see. Mm -hmm. But I have discovered since living here that I am not so special after all. Castaway Village is a microcosm of the world. And we all have a role to play in it. So in Fair this enough. microcosm, I am but an ordinary man. Even other nobles, they are just a part of the world. I may have a certain unique sensibility as an artist, but much as I am embarrassed to admit, my art is no help to this situation. That's not true. No. Hmm. You are too kind. <laughs> Your words bring me peace. But if there is a role that only I can perform, I want to become the man worthy of it. Cool. What that role is, I do not know at this moment. I just want you to know that I am determined. That's a great attitude to have. That's why you can play your music. It's a great attitude to have. Yeah. <laughs> I am pleased to hear you say that. Well, anyway, cheers to friendship, lasting cheers. and renewed. Only together, with everyone's power, can we escape this island. That is very, 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 very true. All right, let's talk to Donna. I got something. I got a couple somethings for you, apparently. Let's talk to you first. Everyone's morale is so high because they are eager to fight our nemesis. I'm sure that Thanatos' plan will work just fine, but... Alright, Adol. Let's check our equipment one last time at Kathleen's before we go. Adol. <sighs> Music box, okay. Here we go. Hey. Wow, what a lovely looking box. It has etchings of leaves on it. Hmm, it must be design a design from your era. Adol, what is this box used for? Play it. Add all open the box to play the music. The music comes out of the box? I see, so the metal plate inside is what plays the music. Hmm. It's a gentle yet deep sound that echoes in my heart. What a brilliant idea to use metal in such a way. Well, I'm glad you like it. Yes. Yes, I like it a lot, actually. <laughs> this era is so interesting. Thank you very much, Adol. I'll treasure this. Yeah. Get them gains. I also have a gold essence crystal. Figured Adol. you could use it. Huh? Is this? Uh, I see. You found this at the capital. It's pretty. Take it. Is it valuable? It's pretty. Take it. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. I remember how I always thought these were so shiny and pretty. Um. This is a toy that utilizes essence to move. Some use it to train their abilities. It emits lights and sounds when you channel essence into it, but it's hard to control. Showing you may be faster. <clears throat> Alright, here we, here we go! Wow. Just kind of crap on my music box, huh? And that's how you use it. Um, what did you think? Amazing. Uh, thank you. I was a little nervous because it had been a while. The song and all the Eternians are no longer in this world, but they'll always be inside my heart. Oh, uh, don't mind my dramatics. In order to honor the memories I have of everyone, I can't run from this. We still have the here and now, so let's make sure we protect it. Okay, some defensive gains. Cool, 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 cool. Is she maxed out now? Nope. 
Let's see how this plan works. Fine. Check your equipment. Sylvia, ha! It's finally begun. I feel like my blood's boiling. It's like before the final Colosseum battle. Anyway, the final stage is set. Let's defeat o Okeanus and finish this. You know, I feel like it's a bait and switch. I feel like this is probably not the final battle. Hey, Hal, well, guess what, buddy? I got some juggling balls. Balls used exclusively for juggling. This is a unique item. Why are you giving this to me? So you can unwind. Hmm. <laughs> you are a strange person, at all. Mm. Of course, it's no exaggeration to say that I'm a juggling expert. Hmm. Perhaps I'll show you as a thanks for giving me this present. That's impressive. <laughs> this is just scratching the surface. If I had more equipment, I could do many other performances. Oh, wow. Hey, is that you, Hummel, and Adol? <laughs> what are you two doing all, doing here all by yourselves? Hmm. Did everyone wash their hands? <laughs> hey, you don't need to worry about that. See, all clean. Yes. Ah, uh, I should explain this. I lent the kids my soap the other day. They're still young, so their hands get filthy rather fast on this island. If they don't keep their hands clean, they could get sick. Hey, pay attention to us now. You were showing off the, your ball trick, Hummel. We want to see it too. Yeah, it's not fair, Hummel. <laughs> <laughs> so you demand an encore. Very well then, feast your eyes on this. Alright, uh, performed his juggling act again this time for the kids. Their eyes sparkled with delight, and they were very happy. Yeah, Hummel maxed out, and nobody's here. So, we haven't found another fish for you, but we found a super fish for you. And I don't want to give that to you yet. I don't think. So I'm going to hold off on giving you that one, Shoebill. I'm sorry. I know you love your fish, but still. No one's up here? Anyone down this way? Oh. Our friend Kathy is over here. Hey, Kathy. So I think it's almost time. There's actually a creature out there capable of pulling whole ships under. Slava managed to stop shaking. Even so, I can't give in to fear. The Lombardia must be avenged. Please, that all let us help in some way. We must have revenge. I'd like to be able to look the captain in the eye when I report to him. Alright. Hopefully that's not anytime soon. Let's talk. It's finally time to battle Okeanus. The beast that sank our ship. You must give him a big spanking. Hmm? Yeah, no, that was good. All right. Hmm, things are heating up. Yeah, I suppose. If you're into things. Oh, you found a new formula. All right, let me check it out. There's the blessed formula. The great tree drop can now be brewed. Let's brew some stuff. What is this? Revive and heal status? Wow. We still got the revives. Please, and please take care. It's finally time. Our future is on the line. Yes, let's do it. Oh, my stomach hurts. Yeah, I'm okay. It's just nerves. Sister Nia, let's talk, girl. The strategy to defeat Okeanus. It's finally prepared. Oh, Celestial Master, protect us and bear witness to our triumph over the Okeanus. Silver Rosary. Adol! Oh, my, did Euron make this? It is rather intricate and looks very similar to those from my church. His work is truly impressive. Appearances can be deceiving. Yes. Yes, I notice how people tend to judge Euron from his looks alone. 
I think it's very foolish to make such surface level judgments. Anyway, thank you very much for delivering a fantastic gift. May God bless you, Adol. And the same to you. I want you to bless me. The same to you. <laughs> thank you very much. I'm such a lucky person. Anyway, please continue to work hard during your investigations. I'll do whatever I can to help you. The trial that God has given us, let's surpass it together. Excellent. May I have... Yeah, you can have some of my time. Go, go for it, girl. Captain oh, Barbaros. Celestial Master who art in heaven, please grant this soul your divine protection. Oh, man. I must say, this village has come a long way. True. We finally constructed a ship to get off this island, too. Mm -hmm. The only issue now is when to leave. We all worked hard to pull this off. Yeah. Yes. I was thinking the same thing. The old me would have thought that God himself made all this possible. I would have accepted that without question. But I've come to understand something during my time with everyone. Castaway Village only exists because we worked hard to create it. <laughs> this is not to say that I've forsaken my faith. Our Celestial Master will always protect us, no matter what. But at times, you need great fortitude to defy the whim of fate. You must have faith in your power to dictate your own fate before you seek the aid of the Almighty. I believe this is what God desires most from us. I arrived at that revelation by watching you and the others. Ah, uh, we're not worthy of such praise. Don't forget to include yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I was just doing my best to keep up with you. But thank you for saying that. Please keep us in your protection until all this is over, at all. I'll do my best. And let's definitely get off this island. Indeed. All right. So we are cranking right along with uh, making people happy, which is good. We're about out of time for the episode, but I think we can talk to a few more folk beforehand. Laxia, Rakota, and then maybe inside. Let's get revenge for everyone. We win, we get to feast. I'll make lots of yummy food, so get excited. Laxia? No human can stand up to the monster that sunk the Lombardia. That's what I would have thought before I arrived here to meet you. Now I feel like we can overcome it if we all work together. Yes, my precious allies that I've bonded with on this island. <laughs> Does this mean that I was uh, able to mature a bit? Good for me. Let's go. Wow, she's real high on herself right now, huh? Thanatos, this is the final fight. There's nothing left to say. As soon as you're prepared, let's start the plan. Well, I'm not necessarily prepared, but... Uh, we be on our way. Uh, truth be told, I'm scared to face that monster, but when I need to find my courage, I just have to think of my family. I'll give up everything for them, even my life. But I have to say, I don't intend to die in vain. Plus, if everyone from Castaway Village is with me, I feel like we can't lose. Come on, Adol. We have to fight to win. We still need more people to get to certain places. I don't feel like this is the, really the end of the game. The final day has come. For my family's sake and for the baby's future, I have to hold on to hope. I'll watch over my little one and support you as best I can. We'll all come together and defeat that monster. Alright. No, oh, Ed, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to the, the kid. Luke? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Luke. You tell him. You tell him, Luke. Alright, I suppose with that, I mean... We're probably going to have to go out and do some more stuff here, but... I think I spoke with everyone, didn't I? No, I didn't. I did not speak to everyone. Sorry. I saw everyone, but I didn't speak to everyone. Okay, we got a bunch of people hiding up over here. By a bunch, I mean two. Alright, we got tomatoes. 
Harvest them. A big old corn, harvest them. We got this, harvest those. We still haven't found, I think pumpkins are probably the last thing. So we still haven't found the pumpkins to plant. Alright, let's talk to the kids. Hey, Recha, what do you think about my plan? I see your plan. You plan the landing point and lure them toward it. You're such a genius when it comes to this type of thing. Right? If it's a prank or a trap, leave it to me. It wasn't a compliment, but let's go with your plan. Let's do this. Yeah! I'll try to cover some of our weaknesses with my calculations. I'm not sure if it'll work, but it's worth a try. I don't know what's happening. Talk. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, nothing can hurt us if we work together. I know this will work, so you can count on it. Here you go. This seed's all prickly and kind of hurts my fingers. Hey, Adol, what is this thing? Stick it to your your own clothes. Adol stuck it to his own clothes and explains that it is a unique plant seed. <laughs> ah, it's really staying stuck. What is this thing? Amazing, coolest anything ever. I didn't know this existed. <laughs> You're pretty good at all. Oh, I know. I could use this as an awesome new way to prank people. <laughs> maybe I'll stick it on Dogie's bushy eyebrows when he's asleep. Or maybe I'll dangle on a rope from the watchtower onto Lk's clothes. I won't allow that. Don't go overboard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. First things first, though. I gotta go freak everyone out. Thank you, at all. That's funny. All right, girl, talk to me. Oh, at all. Hey, you want to hear something really cool? You got to keep it secret from everyone else, though. Come, come here. All right. Kind of sneaked out of the village with at all and guided him to a nearby hill. Okay. <laughs> what do you think, at all? Isn't this place amazing? Yes. I'm stunned. I already knew about this place. <laughs> I'm stunned. I know, right? <laughs> this is my special place. Oh, but please don't tell Dogi. He gets mad when I play outside the village. Hey, you shouldn't play outside the village, girl. <laughs> Doesn't it feel good here? Don't you just feel like running around? Nope. The wind at the captain's watchtower feels nice and all, but it doesn't smell like flowers like this place does. So, Adol, don't worry so much, okay? Uh, I'm not worried. Uh, I'm just worried about Donna. <laughs> oh. Oh. I don't know what's going on, but Donna seems like she's got it rough too. Yeah, she does. Fate of the world and all that. Oh, I know. I'll teach you a secret that'll make you feel great. Okay. The secret is, no matter where you are, you just gotta look for fun stuff. Okay. Just find something fun anytime. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. You got this at all. Oh, come on. Oh, you're blushing. He's so cute. <laughs> He's blushing. Run away. That's great. Oh, there you go. Okay. I think that's everybody except for Doge. Except for the big Doge master in the middle here. Uh, before we fully commit to us, I'm going to take a look at the map once more. Uh, I'd like to go do the underwater things that we haven't done yet. So before I commit to it with Dogi, if I am allowed to teleport around, it looks like I am. I am going to go and try and do those things and hope for the very best. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for right now. I really hope you guys enjoyed and you stick around the channel to see the conclusion. We're getting pretty close to the end. I don't know how far away we truly are. I feel like this is the old bait and switch, but maybe it's the end. I don't know. 
Anyway, folks, till the very next episode, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. And always remember, we play, we fight, we conquer.